hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to make this beautiful draped corset with a chain detail it also has a yoke a deep yoke so we are going to a kind of rush the pattern drafting because i have something like this how to make i have a video like this how to make a corset with a deep yoke but in this video we are going to add a draped bra cup and then a chain detail so here is my pattern i have my boss points under boss half points and allowance so if you wanted to have a basque waistline you can go ahead and add yeah, like extra six inches to the length for your basque so i'm marking my dash which is four four inches so i measured the four inches down to the half length and the allowance and i also extended um the boss point like i extended the dart up to like 1.5 above the boss point so from there i'm going to make my sweetheart neckline and that is for the yoke this curve that i'm making right now is for the yoke so after making that curve you go ahead and make a sweetheart shape a sweetheart curve as well so you are free to determine where you want it to be if you want this deep yoke to reach the half length fine if you want it to stop at the boss point or the under boss fine so mine stopped at the under boss so on the side of the darts on the sides of the darts i took out 1.5 inches for my for my bra cup after marking my from the under boss i drew a straight line down that is from that point where i measured 1.5 1.5 i marked a straight line down and then i will make my bra curve the bra curve will start from the under boss up to up to the boss point and it will be on both sides you can see how i marked my curve so at the at the area where you extended your chest line you would take out one inch on each side of the dart i marked one inch on the right and one inch of the on the left then i made my curve so our bra cup is taking shape gradually so the next thing that i'll do right now is to mark uh, is to measure my side bra cup so from the dart line i went in by four inches and from there i marked a curve to meet the under bust and then i extended the curve up to the yoke area so i'll also make mark a curve from the under bust and it will join the yoke area you can see that it joined the yoke area it will no longer reach the bust point because the yoke will cross there so i have labeled my yoke and right now i'll cut out from my allowance so i'll go ahead and cut off this that area i'll cut it off and i'll also cut out my yoke before taking my body measurements so i'll go ahead and cut out the yoke so for the neckline of the yoke you are free to determine how you want the neckline to be So I'll go ahead and cut my armhole and I'll also cut out the round neck and the shoulder slants of the yoke. So right now, I'll place the center front. You can see the center front. I'll place it in a way that it's like I'll place it so that it will overlap the bra cup of the side i don't know if you understand before taking my bust and my waist measurement so i realized that i made the mistake so i'm going to remeasure it so that you guys can understand how to take your bust measurement like this method is very easy so you just place the center on the side like place the center on the side so that it will cover that bra cup part only okay i'm trying to correct my measurement so right now you place your you make sure that everything is aligned then you go ahead and take your boss measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance 
and then i marked my waistline plus two inches seam allowance and i connected it to my bust area so right now i'm going to cut out the side so for now i don't want to cut out this bra cup i'll still cut it out but for now i want to leave it that way so our front part is ready and with the help of this front part i will cut out the back part so i'll place the front on the back i'll place it on a fresh pattern paper i'll place the front on the back and if you can notice i did not add any zipper allowance i did not add any zipper allowance instead i will take out two inches from the main back measurement so that it will be wide i want to lace the back if you have been following me this is what i normally do so i'll cut out the back pattern and you also cut out the back neckline you can see how i placed it on the back the bra cup the bra cups are overlapping each other so i am done i'll go ahead and take out two inches from the back measurement because i want the back to be open i will lace it or i'll tie it depending on what what you uh, choose to call it so after this i will cut out and after cutting out i'll go ahead and mark my yoke so you are free to determine how you want your yoke to be so this is how my yoke will look i'll go ahead and cut you can see the neckline i made it a v neckline and then i will cut out my yoke for the back so that is a quick pattern drafting for this tutorial i did this so that you so that i'll carry the new viewers along but if you want to get a detailed tutorial on how to draft a corset with a deep neckline i have a video on my channel you can go check it out so right now i will cut out my bra cups i'm cutting out the bra cups now so i'm using a velvet for this style and i added a tissue gum to my velvet and when cutting please remember to add half an inch round your patterns this is the center front and okay i forgot to tell you guys that the center front will have an open like it will have a joining at the center front it will help you to attach your yoke properly i told you guys that it is better that way so the bra cups also i will add half an inch seam allowance around all my bra cups so remember after doing this you have to cut out your lining as well because you will turn everything with your lining so you are free to add interface to your lining if you want you can leave it so i used a doll face for my lining so there is no point adding an interface to it but if you still want to add you can go ahead and add so i am done cutting out my bra cups my center front my side and my back so it is remaining the yoke for the front and the yoke for the back so this is the sleeve i used a skin net for the sleeve and i doubled it like i have four pieces here each sleeve will be two i have my yoke i've cut out my yoke for the front the back and my yoke is double like please double your yoke so that it will not tear easily so right now i'll move over to my sewing machine i am done joining the center the center front to the side and you can see it has an opening at the center so after joining my yoke i'll go ahead and close that opening it will be very easy for me so i've also joined my bra cup and i joined the lining as well this is the lining for the bra cup and i also joined the lining for the center front and co so this is the back i have cut out the yoke you can see how the yoke looks so you can see I will not add any zipper allowance to this back. I told you guys that I'm going to lace it. So here is the lining. I'll go ahead and turn. So this is the bra cup that I'll be using. And if you can see, my bra cup is bigger than my actual cup. So I'll go ahead and add a dart to this bra cup. So I've added a dart for upper bust, like the bra cup for upper bust tightening. And the bra cup is deeper now. So I'll go ahead and trim off the excess. This bra cup is quite bigger than the provided fabric that 
I made for the provided fabric for the bra cup. So I went ahead and I trimmed the bra cup so that it will suit what I want to use it for. I don't know if you guys have seen me doing this. I normally trim my bra cup if it is too big just to get what I want. So this dress will show um, a little cleavage or a little cleave. So that's why I did not use the full bra cup. I wanted to show the cleavage. So the yoke came down a bit. But if you don't want it to show your cleavage, the yoke should stop around seven, six inches. So I have trimmed the bra cup right now. It fits, it fits into the bra cup. And please add a dart to your bra cup so that it will be deeper. So after doing this, I'll pin the fabric down to the bra cup using my pins. So after doing this, I'll go ahead and make my drapings or my pleats on the bra cup. At this stage, I will make my pleats on the bra cup. So this is the fabric that I'll use. I'll go ahead and start and I'll go I'll go ahead and start pleating it on my bra cup. So as you are pleating or as you are draping, you'll be pinning down. So you are free to drape it the way you want. I used a velvet for this, but the actual picture, the thumbnail, they used a duchess for it. So I couldn't find the accurate shade of gold that I want in a duchess. That's why I chose to use a velvet. Velvet is still fine for it. So I'll go ahead and drape around my bra cup until I have gotten what I wanted. So on the other side, I will drape very well as well and I will pin down. So after doing this for the right bra cup, I will go ahead and do it for the left bra cup as well. So after doing that, I will trim off the excess and I will also go to my sewing machine and sew it round so that I will hold it down to the bra cup or to the fabric for the bra cup. Please, if you are working with a velvet, I think you should add um, this stay, this interface. It will give you stability. Working with a velvet can be annoying sometimes. So I am done running a stitch around them and I have trimmed. So right now I'll go, okay, I'm not, <laughs> right now I'll go ahead and iron it. It will help the drape to relax. So please do make sure to iron make sure do make sure you iron so i'll iron it properly and after that i'll go ahead and run a stitch round so i'll repeat the same thing on the other bra cup after doing that i will iron and after ironing i will sew round the bra cup i'll use a I'll use a sewing machine to hold the drapes um together then i'll go ahead and iron iron is very important it will help you hold your drapes in place so right now i have done running a stitch around this and i'll go ahead and trim off the excess and that is also our bra cup is ready at this stage and remember the lining is still separate so i'll go ahead and attach my bra cup to the space provided for it on my main fabric so i'll go ahead and attach the bra cup and after doing that i will go ahead and add the yoke so i am done sewing the bra cup down to the main fabric so right now i'll go ahead and add my yoke so adding your yoke this way will be very easy for you i mean if the center is separate so i'll go ahead and add the yoke so i will um i'll go ahead and add the yoke so i am done adding my yoke and you can see how it looks it is fine if you want your yoke to be wider you can make it wide if you want it to be closed you can make it closed so right now i'll add my i'll join the bra cup for the lining to the lining and then i'll come back and show you guys so this is the back i have done joining my yoke and i have provided um a casing or channels for my bones so right now i have turned 
this bra cup i have a detailed video on how to sew a deep yoke in that video i explained how to turn your yoke properly how to turn a yoke properly so i'll go ahead and take my bust measurements i normally take if i'm making a corset that has an opening at the back i normally take my measurements on the right side of the fabric so when i'm sewing i'll just place the back on it and then i will know where to join from you know the back is separate separate like the back is separate you can't really determine the measurements of the back so that's how i do it and i'll go ahead and join so here is for the sleeve i have like um 16 inches long sleeve here so i first of all you make like a six inches wide and 16 inches long sleeve then you will go ahead and pleat on it you go ahead and pleat on these sleeves that was what i did for the sleeve the pleated sleeve or the draped sleeve so i'll cut out the pieces or the fabric that we used to pleats so this is what i'm going to use i'll go ahead and pleat it on the sleeves so here is the sleeve i'll go ahead and pleat and after pleating i will use the former sleeve the plain one i will use it to turn the pleated one so you can see the pleated one i'll place the plain one on it and i will use it to turn the pleated one so this is the second one i'll place the plain one on it and i will use it to turn the pleated one so um i am done and i am done shaping my back i've also trimmed my half length so right now i'll go ahead and add a bone inside the casing or the channels that i made for the bones so as you are inserting the bones please make sure um make sure um that you won't interfere while joining the upper parts to the lower parts so you can see how i made my channels like after turning the back part i ran a stitch on it so it held the main fabric and the lining together and i inserted my bones in between so right now i am okay with what i have i'll go ahead and run a stitch on the down part so for the sleeve first of all you add this pleated sleeve first like you add it to the net you add it to the front and to the back before adding the one that has a skin net you know that this sleeve has to skin net so you add this pleated um has a, a two sleeves one is a skin net and one is pleated so you first of all add the pleated one before adding the one with a skin net so for the chain this is how i fixed it i fixed my needle and thread on the part where i want to insert the thread so i'll pass my needle and thread like two times and after that i will introduce a chain so i'm trying to pass this thread the second time now so after that i'll insert a chain So I fixed two thread, like I fixed one thread and needle on the right bra cup and I fixed the other one on the left bra cup. It actually made my work easier. So if I cross to this side, I will use the thread on that side to hold the chain down. And if I cross the, or to the other side, I will use the chain there to hold everything down. So here is what I mean by that. This is my um needle and thread i'll pass it through where i want the 
the particular chain to start from i'll pass it like two times then i will insert my chain and i'll cross it like three times like i will stitch that chain like three times or two times to make sure that it is very very strong So I passed this one three times. So after doing that, I will cross the chain to the other side. I will cross to the other side and I already have a needle and thread on that side that's why i said you should use two needle and thread one on the right side and one on the left side so i'll pass my needle and i will i'll pass it through the chain and then i will hold it down So I'm trying to determine the length of the chain. So I'll pass my thread there. I will hold it or I will stitch it like three times to make sure that it is very, very strong. So this chain, I bought it in the Nigerian market in the East. So a strand is 200, 200 Naira, yes, I, a strand is 200 naira and i bought 10 strands that is 2000 naira so for me eight strands is okay because i did not finish all of them i don't know what they normally call this chain but it comes in different sizes and they sell it per strand so i am done stitching my chain around there so i'll go ahead and cross it to the other side So I'll cross it to the other side. And one good thing about this thread, that it, about the chain is that it is very easy to cross. So when you finish, you will trim off the excess. And at the end of the day, this is what I have. So I'm trying to finish it up. So any remaining part of the chain, you can easily cut it off with your scissors. It is very soft. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope our corset is beautiful. And we also have a corset class going on now. I'll drop the link to our Telegram and our WhatsApp group so that you can make inquiries. You will learn how to make a corset from the scratch to finish so here is the beautiful dress that we made i hope the outcome is very fine so thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting me always thank you for always being there for me i appreciate you guys so so much please do not forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified so thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye